this is the 39th uh, dinner um, that we've done, but it's the 14th one that I've been involved in. We all know he's got the Capitol Link Conference 25 years ago. I started that mostly in New York, but it brings people from around the world. It again gives Greece a credible platform to present its case about investing, to talk about its politics and policies. A lot of politicians come to this event, and particularly the past two years have been very impressed. Every year, in each location, the movers and shakers and the decision makers are at Capital Link conferences. So with all these um, conferences, he made a very meaningful um, and, and with his uh, advice and, and, and uh, uh, mentoring of, of uh, uh, public companies in, the, in this country. Rick has done so much so much for relationships between Greece and the United States, opening up markets, opening up possibilities, opening up the ability to do business. And that's why, no matter where I was today. So Nick, it's my honor this evening to present a recognition from our state as the recipient of how of uh, Person of the Year for 2023. And it's a great honor to bestow this from just not only Rhode Island, but from all of us across our great country. Sounding board, 
and that it did put a little bit of a strain on the relationship because every single idea I presented to her to start my own business to accept it. Except Kathleen. So I did found Kathleen. And uh, I think Kathleen uh, ever since has developed into a very nice organization. The work that we do uh, does not focus only on Greece, it goes well beyond Greece, but it's enough of Greece to bring it up in my heart and my mind and I feel quite balanced. The things that you recognize me tonight that I'm grateful for is uh, the efforts that we have been doing uh, to promote Greece as a business and investment destination and then shift. So I will make uh, a few remarks on each, uh, each kind of in each direction. When it comes to promoting Greece as a business and investment destination, uh, as uh, Dean mentioned, uh, indeed in 1994 I think I organized the first uh, rows of the Athens Stock Exchange. Nobody knew about the Athens Stock Exchange at the time, and the market had not yet taken off. Uh, if you recall, the Greek stock market took off with the bank for a number of years, and at the time I owned a stock broking firm, uh, Alexander Capital. Uh, we used to represent Sigma Securities, one of the largest uh, stock broking firms in Athens. So we really promoted the Greek stock market very consistently and aggressively both as capital in and uh, as general capital. And then, of course, the Greek stock market imploded. Uh, I remember at the time saying that uh, in Greek, Pame of Nepositi pay Kleos, to the Sophocleos. So we go from the Pericles Golden Years to the Sophocleos, the, the street where the other stock exchange was located at the time. But again, as I said, at some point of time, the Greek stock market imploded. In the meantime, Olga and I have come up with the idea that if you really want to promote Greece, you need a platform that will be there for good, permanently, that will present Greece in a very responsible way, uh, very top level. And we started capitalizing the Investment Greece Forum. Well, it took a long time to develop it into the institution that it has become. Uh, I have to say a couple of things here. I'm particularly proud of the fact that we have done this event year after year, no matter what are the political and economic conditions in Greece. And that is particularly relevant when, uh, as Dean mentioned, things in Greece were tough. Uh, and I remember the time, uh, December of uh, 2015, uh, it was the first time. It was right, it was the first uh, year of the civil government. If you all remember the July referendum, uh, the yes, the, the no that turned into yes, uh, and all the, uh, you know, all the peripeties and levels of Greece had gone through. So, December of 1995, I remember 8 o'clock in the morning, uh, it was a packed room. It was the first time. That the first, that the four institutions, the Tesla Technique, had come to New York uh, outside of Greece in a conference to talk about Greece. Uh, the European uh, Central Bank, the European Stability Mechanism, the European Commission, and the IMF. Actually, I have to say, I was all that who had put that amazing uh, panel together. when it mattered the most. Uh, right now, Greece has turned the corner. Uh, we're in a very different uh, environment, uh, but I think still the idea of doing something consistently, constantly, always top level, attracting uh, every successful government, successful government from the US or Greece, and featuring with leaders from the government and the uh, private sector is really uh, tremendous. I will go now into uh, uh, New City. Uh, as uh, John Tetsipatez mentioned, when City came to Wall Street, it was uh, really not very, very well known. Actually, I was with Myros Talmason on a panel in London last week, and we were discussing about that. 
Swimming is the invisible industry. How many average Americans have thought or have seen the swim? Swimming became uh, prevalent. Everybody started knowing about swimming. When Wall Street came up with a motto, no swimming, no shopping. When during the crisis we couldn't get the goods that everybody delivered to the internet, and we had all these bottlenecks around the world, that's when people said, ah, no swimming, you know, very important. No swimming, no shopping. But anyway, going back to 2005, when um, the Greek firm started listing New York, uh, frankly, uh, I think I had found my calling at the time. I had been uh, a swimming banker, I had been actually a visiting lecturer on, on swimming in London for a long time, I had been an investment manager, a stock broker, so everything that I had done glued together. And thankfully also I had a ton of relationships among the group supporters. And I was able to transform that into helping all of these companies navigate their way into the US capital markets. And if you allow me to be a little bit not arrogant, my wife says that uh, as a Greek, I am very low profile. And I am. Uh, those that you know me, you know I'm, I'm a particularly low profile person, no power status. Uh, I actually don't like the use of living because when people talk to me, because you do not earn the use of plural, simply from employment relationship, you earn it through respect. But anyway, um, <laughs> so uh, we started uh, this conference with, as a means of raising the profile of, uh, of Greek children and children around the world. And uh, I'm absolutely proud to tell you the truth that uh, Capital M is today present in 10 major locations, John Hedges Patel has mentioned them, with 18 events, and uh, all of them are top of the line. So I'm uh, absolutely humbled. Uh, actually, I will tell you uh, something that happened uh, a week ago. Uh, we were discussing with the uh, Shanghai government who had a Zoom call uh, about putting together an event that would take place uh, in October. We had uh, about a two hour call. There was a Chinese translator because obviously my Chinese is not existent. But I took a lot of pride when I was listening to a language I could not understand at all. And there were two words that were repeatedly mentioned Capital A and Nicholas. <laughs> I said, wow, you know, we are really a brand. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm really delighted that we had this opportunity and thank you for uh, honoring uh, these efforts. I will conclude by saying a few important things. First of all, I'd like to thank my family. And it's not being said, everybody thank their family.
Taylor, uh, Martella, uh, Kevin, all of them have been in the six and ten years. So, Cantelec is a team that you voluntarily check in and very few people check out. I would like to thank our colleagues in the Athens office. They are not here tonight, but they are great members of the team. Athena Kosmavati, Victoria Tsukala, Stavros Kalaris, and Anna Wichman. The both teams, they work late hours, early mornings, late nights. Uh, they go not one mile extra, many more extra miles. I think, again, my wife uh, says it best. When it comes to corporate culture, capitalism is not a company, capitalism is a culture. So thank you guys very much. I say nothing would have been achieved without the great uh, support and friendship of my clients, of all those people who supported us and believed in us for, for years. A lot of them are here tonight. Uh, there is a big uh, shipping conference taking place in New York, not organized by Capital in this time. Uh, but they had a lot of invitations to go to but they prefer to come here and uh, support me. And I have to tell you guys, nothing would have happened if uh, I didn't have your support, your friendship, uh, and uh, your confidence in, in me. And at the end of the day, what I'm most proud of is not the things we have accomplished professionally, as I am, it's the relationships we have built over time, because these relationships bind people together, uh, and uh, these are bonds that stay with Thank you very much.